What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Streamlab overlays into your Stream Deck. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with part three of the Streamlabs tutorials. I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your Streamlab overlays and put them into your Stream Deck. Your scenes, sources, sounds, everything. I'm going to show you how to put it in your Stream Deck. Guys, if you have not watched part one and part two of my series, please go do that as I will link them here in the video um, and in my description as well. Um, I will also link Jeffrey Gamer's Streamlabs tutorial as he has more in-depth detail on your audio settings to change your audio sounds for your alert boxes. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into this. Uh, there is a link down there. Um, now, this is for those who have a Stream Deck. If you do not have a Stream Deck, then this tutorial is not going to work for you. If you have a Stream Deck, okay? If you have a Stream Deck, go ahead and click the link in the description to download your Elgato Stream Deck app, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I will pull it up real quick. And uh, let me see here if I can get it um, pulled up. Oh, I did the wrong thing, let me click this. All right, so it should bring you this page right here, guys. Once you get here, you're going to click Downloads and you just wanna scroll down and click which one you have, which would be Windows or Mac, all right? Uh, and then you want to go over here to select product and scroll down and select um, Stream Deck. It doesn't matter which one you pick, just pick one. And then you just want to go down here and click the download key right here. All right. Now, once you have it downloaded, all right, once you have it downloaded, you are going to run it through your setup wizard and get everything set up. Okay. It's got to be ran through your setup wizard. Once you have it done, okay, you're going to pull up your, you can go over here into your start menu and you could scroll down and you should have a new folder now called Elgato. If you open it up, you will see your stream deck uh, tab right here, okay? That's the one you want. You want to right click and then you can either pin it to your start or you can go to more and pin it to your taskbar, okay? Once you get it where you need it, go ahead and open it up and it's going to bring you to this right here, all right? Actually, let me go back to my main page. So let me let me make this very clear. Whether you have a six button stream deck, a fifteen button, or a thirty two button, I'm going to show you how to set it up. up okay, you will just have to follow along with the stream deck that you have. Um, now, if you have a fifteen, if you have a six button stream deck, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six keys in this general area to function with, okay? If you have a 15 button stream deck, all right, you will have all of these keys that you see here, everything. You will have all of those to work with. If you have the 32 button stream deck and you go right here to stream deck and click on that, it'll show all your devices. You will have all of these to function with, okay? Now for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to use the 15 button stream deck today, okay? Now, Go ahead and pull up your Streamlabs as we are going to be using that. And we're going to be working with the overlay that I showed you how to install, okay? Now, our goal for this tutorial is to get each one of these scenes. You're going to see me pop up here. Each one of these scenes and a few of the sources into... If I hit the wrong button one more time... <laughs> We're going to get all, we want to get all of this and some of the sources into our stream deck. Okay. So what is the first thing we want to do? The first thing we want to do is we want to go into here and we are going to go right here to where our overlay is. Okay. I'm going to go back to my starting scene screen, go right here to where your overlay is, where it says tech, tech disco. I believe that's what it's named and click that. Just click that little area, whatever it is and click manage all. And we want to rename this right here. The very one, the one that says tech disco or which, whatever your overlay is called click rename and we are going to name this i'm going to name mine to i'm just going to put tt for tutorial okay that's how i'm going to put mine you can name yours whatever you want uh if you have a certain game on this overlay you can name it that like if you see mine right here i have one for meet the gamers one for red dead uh slrp evil within gt5 um you know i have different ones named for my for my specific games 
Now, once you've got it renamed, click done. Okay. And then just click that little arrow again to bring it back up. Now, we the first thing we want to do is we want to um, get this into our stream deck. Okay. So the easiest way to do that and to keep track of it is to name your new profile the same exact thing of what your overlay is named. Okay. So pulling up your stream deck app. All right. Now, pretend like my stuff is not here and we are just going to click on a new button, okay? There is two tabs in here you are going to need to open, all right, inside of your stream deck, all right, in the side column here. You are going to need to open up the stream deck tab right there, okay? And next, you are going to need the Streamlabs OBS tab, all right? Now, if for some reason you do not have the Streamlabs OBS tab, go right down here where it says More Actions, and then go up here to the search tab and just type in Streamlabs, okay? Now, I have this one installed too. I can't really remember if that's the one that allows me to do all this. I, I want to say it was in there by default and I put this one in myself. But just for the sake of the tutorial, guys, go ahead and install this one right here. And if there's another one that says Streamlabs uh, with this icon, install it as well, okay? Once you get it installed, you can then close out, all right? Now, we want to set up a new profile, okay? So before we can do anything with this button right here, we need to go up here to this little settings gear, all right, right there where my cursor is, and click it. Now, over here, you will probably not have a lot of names, um, being the fact this is your first time firing up your, your uh, Elgato Stream Deck app. You're probably only going to have the default profile setting, okay? And that's okay. Leave that one there. You do not want to remove that. Leave that there, okay? Now, what you want to do to create a new profile is go down in here and just click that little plus symbol right there, okay? It's going to add one that says profile one. That is your new profile, okay? This is the one we're going to be working with. What you want to do is highlight that and then right click and click rename. And then you want to name this to what your overlay is named or something that you can remember, okay? I'm gonna name mine the same thing as my overlay, which is going to be TT for tutorial, okay? Now, once you get that renamed, you can click enter and you can then exit out, all right? Now, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna find that profile, okay? So go up here to your Stream Deck tab right here in the side column of your Stream Deck app and you wanna grab this one right here that says Switch Profile and you want to drag it over into an empty space and drop it just like that, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is go down here to where it says profile, where my cursor is, and click that. And you want to find you want to find the one that you just named. Mine being TT, that's what I'm going to pick, okay? Now, when I hit that button, it's going to take me to a brand new profile, okay? You can go ahead and delete the one that says welcome out of there. Just delete it out. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab this switch profile again and drag it into the far right side or wherever you may want to just drag it and drop it. Now, on this profile, you want to select it. You want to open it up and select default profile. That way, when you push that button, it takes you back to the main page, to your other profiles and however over the minute you're going to have, but it takes you back to the main page. Now, clicking that button again, all right? So we're going to click that button again, and we are going to name this default, okay? Now, if you notice, my letters are kind of big, and if you look down at your stream deck, you will see the letters in your stream deck, okay? You can change the colors of the letters by going over here to this little T right here and clicking down that arrow, okay? Now, you can switch your lettering to be on the bottom, in the middle, and even on the top, okay? I like mine in the middle. You can go here to where the color thing is and click it and switch it to any color you like. I like mine to be a bright yellow. You guys can pick red or whichever one you want. Um, and you can you can uh, manage your colors right in here just like that, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pick that yellow. And now, if you want to change the size of your font, you can go right here to where it says 14PT. And you can click that arrow down. And if you look down at your stream deck, you will see your letters getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, if you go up, you will see them get bigger, okay? I like mine about right there. I'm going to put mine right there. Once you're done, you can click out of that, okay? Now, for those who want to change these pictures, there's a way to do it. I'm going to show you how I do mine. 
Uh, what you want to do is you want to right click on this and click uh, create new icon. Okay. It's going to open up the Elgato Make Stream Deck Yours page. Okay. You're going to scroll down and this is going to be, we can close out of that. This is going to be where you're going to put your new um, over uh, your new um, picture for that spot. Okay. Now you can pick literally anything in here you want. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to just select the Elgato symbol. Okay. Once you have it selected, you can click Save Key. It's going to automatically put it into your Downloads folder. All right, we can close out of that. We want to open up our Downloads folder, okay? Let's go to our Downloads folder. And right here it is, guys. All right, right there it is. So what you do now is you go down here to this default right here in this key, and you just double-click on that. And you just want to double-click on, go to your Downloads folder and find this and double-click it. There it is, guys. You have it in there now, okay? And if you click that button, again, it goes back to your main profile. Now, this one right here, you want this one to have a picture as well so you know what profile it is, okay? Being the fact it is a tutorial, we're going to go ahead and click. We're going to go to this little button right here and right-click and click Create New Icon, okay? All right? We're going to scroll down. And again, you can literally select anything you want. You can change the colors of it by going here. All right. And you can go up to here. Let me close that thing. It's on my nerves. <laughs> you can click this. And then you can go up here to where it says color and click on that and literally make this any color you want. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to make this one blue. Okay. Once you get the blue, close out and click save key once again. And then close it. And then go back down here to this profile at the bottom, double click it, go back to your downloads folder, okay, your downloads, right there's that blue, double click it, and it's in now. But, you know, you guys can select pictures or whatever you want. I'll show you what I would do, okay? For this tutorial, I'm going to double click that, all right? And I'm going to scroll down to where all of my YouTube pictures are, okay? So I'm going to select my drive. I'm going to select a YouTube thumbnail for this. So for this tutorial, I'm going to select... The Streamlabs, all right? Now, see that? It puts it right there for me. So, being the fact this is a Streamlabs tutorial, I'm going to keep that. Now, we're going to push that button again. It's going to open up our new profile. Now, our next goal, okay? I'm going to minimize this. Our next goal is to get each one of these scenes and some of the sources, like I said, some of them, into that Stream Deck, okay? So, the first thing we want to do is we want... Now, this is what I like to do. We're going to open up our, um, we're going to go ahead and close our Stream Deck right here, our Stream Deck tab, and just leave your Streamlabs OBS tab open. Now, here's what I like to do. I like to grab the record right here and bring it over. That way, if I want to record during stream, and make sure you go down here at the bottom, guys, and select that first button, that first uh, circle. I like to have that there, so if I want to record during my stream, say like record a short or just record a clip and put it up for a highlight, I have it there to do it, right? Now, you can go right here to where it says title. Make sure that first circle is checked right here, okay, where my cursor is. Go right here and just type in record, okay? And now you have record in. Now, again, if you want to create an icon, all right, you can right-click and then go to create new icon and select your icon. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to go through all that because of the time on the tutorial and all that, good, all that good stuff. So, with that being said, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back over here. We now have our record button. It's ready to record. If you push that button and look down here in your Streamlabs, it will start recording for you just like that, okay? If you push it again, it will stop, all right? You just recorded a clip. Now, we're going to go on to the next one right here. Now, this is going to be a scene. We want to set up our first scene, which is going to be our starting soon screen. You want to go over to your Streamlabs OBS tab right here in the side. Grab the one that says scene and drag it over and drop it just like that, okay? Now, make sure you go down here and always select that first circle, okay? And I'll tell you why in a minute. Now, right here, okay, you see that we've drug a scene over. Right here where it says scene, make sure that is selected on starting soon, Okay, so that way when you push that button, it is on your starting soon screen, all right? Now, with that being said, we want to go up here to where it says title, and we want to type in, you can just type in something like, you can just type in start, right? So you'll know that is your starting screen. Again, 
You can go down here, you can right click, create new icon, and put anything in that you want, okay? And that goes for both sides. You can put a picture in over here, and you can put one on the side. Two different, to two totally different profile pictures, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. If I put one in here and double click, just for the sake of this, I'm gonna go back to my downloads folder, and I'm going to throw in, let's say we're gonna throw in this uh, red one right here on that side. Now, if I go to this side, and I click it, double click it again, and just for this one, I'm gonna th throw in the yellow one, okay, for that side. Now, when I click that, right, when I click it, okay, when I click on it, it's going to turn yellow as soon as I click it, okay? It's not going to do it right now because we don't have another scene set up, but just give me a minute and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Go back over to the side column here and grab another scene, guys. Grab the scene again and drag it over to the next one, all right? This one, go ahead and select the first circle. This one, you want to go down to the scene and click it and select Intro, now you have a button for your intro scene. So if I select that second button, my first one now turns yellow, right? Now if I go back to start and hit that one, it turns red. See how the two different pictures work? That's what I was trying to explain to you. So now with that being said, if we click, if I minimize this and I click that second button, you're going to see it's going to select the intro, okay? So if I click it, it's going to select the intro scene and right there it is, okay? We're going to go back to the starting scene. So click that start button. Open up your Streamlabs app again. I mean your Stream Deck app. Sorry, guys. And again, you can add, uh, you can go in here and click that first circle and you can type in, we can type in intro. That way you know what that button does, okay? Move it on to the very next one. This next one is going to be another scene. So go over to your side column, grab scene, pull it over. And this time, we want this scene to be our live scene okay this is going to be our live scene so go in your title and just type in live again guys i'm just showing you what i know from my personal experience um i do normally go in and add pictures but for the sake of the time of this tutorial i'm not going to do all that uh but i will tell you again you can go down here and right click create new icon create whatever pictures you want and throw them in there guys okay uh the stream deck is actually a really cool uh piece of machinery to have i love my stream decks guys i love them uh okay so with that being said we now have our live scene button set up now back over the side column grab a scene again grab that scene button and drag it and drop it to the next one this one is going to be our be right back so select that one just like that and you can go in the title right here and just type in literally brb okay that way you know it should be right back screen. Now, next one. Here's what I like to do so my buttons are not too far apart. So my outro screen, my ending screen, when I am ending my stream, okay, I'm going to go over here to my Streamlabs tab. I'm going to grab the scene. I'm going to drag it and drop this one right below the Be Right Back, okay? All right, because this one's going to be our outro scene, our ending soon. So you're going to click that, and you're going to click Ending Soon, okay? This will now end your stream. So I'm going to put in ending okay now like i said if it's too big in your stream deck um button all you have to do is go over to the where this t is click it and just take the size down by clicking that arrow down right there take the size of, of the font down and you can make it bigger by going up okay and again you can go in here and change the colors of it you can change it to whatever color you want uh it will change it to that right there you can have each individual one a different color okay so i'm just going to change mine back to yellow just because I don't know why I like that yellow, but I do. Now, we have our... Now, if we go like this, if we minimize our screen, okay? And we hit... We're on our starting scene. If we hit our intro, it will go to our intro scene. See that? If we hit our live scene, it goes to our live scene, right? There's our live scene. See that? And then if we hit the be right back, there's our be right back screen. And then ending, there's our ending screen, okay? Now, let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to intro screen, okay? So in here, all right, in here, when you go live and, you t and you're talking to your audience, you're going to want your camera's going to be on and you're also going to want your mic on as well as your desktop audio because you're about to play a game, right? Or whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to need desktop audio, okay? So bring up your Stream Deck app again and then go over here to the intro, okay? 
This is how I like to do it so that all my buttons are close together and I can hit them almost at the exact same time, okay? So you want to click on the intro button. Make sure you're on that one and, under, and we're going to be putting these under here. Go back over to your side column to where the Streamlabs OBS is and you want to grab the one that says Mixer Audio and we're going to drag and drop one right here and we're going to grab Mixer Audio again and drag and drop one right here. Now, you want to go to the top one and on this one, we're just going to type in mic, okay? And what you want to do is go down here to where it says source on the bottom and click that arrow down and select the mic that you are using for your mic, okay? This button is now set to mute and unmute your microphone, okay? So if I push that button, you guys are going to see the mic start lighting up over there on the right hand side see that now if i push it again it mutes my mic now the reason you can still hear me is because i'm recording through my nvidia all right now let's click on the next one down this is going to be for our desktop okay now of course that's too big so we're going to go over here where the t is and we're going to knock that font down just a tad okay uh now with that being said you want to go down to where it says source again at the bottom click that arrow and set this one to desktop audio. You can now push that button and mute and unmute your desktop audio. See that? All right, guys. Um, now, let me see if there's anything else. So I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to go through the scenes to make sure. Um, okay, so we're on. Now, you have hit intro screen. You want to unmute your mic and unmute your desktop audio by pushing those buttons. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and hit our live scene. Okay. Our live scene right here. Now, you can do anything. You can mute and unmute pretty much anything you want with those buttons, okay? Your alert box. You can turn your camera on and off, but it has to be set through a source on your stream deck, okay? So, for example, um, if I want to, uh, I think if I go like this and go over here to my Streamlabs OBS and grab the source. Let me see. Let me see here. If I grab my source right here, okay, and I bring it over and drop it right there, okay? Now, this is going, we're going to set this one for our, we're going to say um, camera one, okay? Because I do have two different cameras, okay? Now, you're going to go down here to source and, I'm sorry, go to, go to, um, Go to scene and select live scene, okay? Make sure your scene is select live scene. Sorry about that, guys. Then go to source, and you want to select whichever one is running your webcam, okay? So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to minimize this, and we're going to go right here to where it says webcam, and we're going to find out which one. So the one that says video capture device without the one beside it is my main camera, okay? So if I go back to my Stream Deck app and go back to where it says Camera 1, make sure your scene is on Live Scene, go to Source, click that arrow, and I'm going to put this on Video Capture video capture Device right there. Now, if I push that button, it's going to turn that camera off and on. See that? You can do it with anything, guys. Anything in this list right here, you can turn it off, turn it on, mute it, unmute it. That's pretty much all you got to do, guys. I'll show you one more time here. We'll set up one for the other camera, okay? So I'm going to go back over here to my Streamlabs tab in the side column. I'm going to grab Source. I'm going to bring it over. And I want to make sure that my scene is set to Live Scene, okay? Because that's where our source is. Go up here to Title. And we're going to type in... We're going to type in Camera... Two, okay, this is going to be camera two. All right, then we want to go back down here to source and select video capture device one. That's what it is for me, okay? Again, we are going to minimize our Stream Deck app. And if I push camera one and camera two, they are both off. See that? And you can do the same thing with these overlays, guys. You just got to figure out what source they are, right? So that would be webcam frame, okay? This one right here would be your webcam frame. All right, see that? That is also webcam frame. Now, being the fact those are copied from one another, one button is probably going to mute them both, okay? I mean, turn them both off. So, uh, with that being said, let me pull this back up. And if I turn my cameras back on like that, it will turn them back on. 
So that's pretty much um, that's pretty much it for for part one of the stream deck tutorials, guys. I'm gonna go back to my starting soon screen, so I'm not on camera right now. I don't know what it is about doing tutorials, guys, but I don't like being on camera when I do tutorials. I know that sounds really weird, but um, because I do live streams all the time. Um, but let me double check here, guys, because I think that's pretty much it for this part of this tutorial. I don't want to lead you guys wrong, and I don't want to tell you guys anything wrong. Now, in further tutorials, I will be going into how to put in your YouTube buttons, like your chat messages, and I'll show you what I mean by that, guys. Let me go back, and I'll show you what I have set up. So if I push this button right here, if you see these right here, they are set up through... Um, they are all they all say something right they all say something okay um so what that does when i push that button it actually types that into the live chat for me okay and we will get more into that uh as we go on okay but with that being said ladies and gentlemen opening up that profile again we are now yeah you now you don't have to have your stream deck app open when you run your stream lab so i can safely close this okay and open up, but you do have to have your Streamlabs running, okay? We are going to open up our Streamlabs again and close our Stream Deck app, okay? And we're going to open up that profile. We're going to go through everything. I'm going to go ahead and mute the mic, the desktop, and both cameras, okay? Now, I'm going to hit my intro scene, okay? If I hit my intro scene, I'm going to turn on my mic and my desktop audio, all right? Now, we did not put a source in here to turn our camera off and on, so... It's not going to work in here. Now, if we go to live scene, there will be no cameras. But if we push those buttons, camera one, camera two. There it is right there, guys. Okay, so you have buttons to turn your cameras on and off. There, The sky is the limit, as Jeffrey Gamer says. My brother. As he says, the sky is the limit with stuff like this. Guys, with this stream deck, the sky is the limit. It is endless amounts of stuff that you can do. There is so much that I am going to show you guys with this stream deck with that being said ladies and gentlemen let me go ahead and go back to my um well i'll just stay here i'll go to this scene right here so guys with that being said thank you all so much for tuning in um i love you guys so much make sure you subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already and smash that like button for me as i would greatly greatly appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen until next time god bless take care stay in prayer love one another and peace out guys and girls i will see you all in the next video Peace, guys.